I published <coughs> a few uh, circuits on YouTube the past days and weeks where I wanted to show uh, a shortwave, sorry, uh, FM radio in the frequency band between say 88 MHz and 110 MHz and I managed to make that circuit in a more or less uh, successful way it worked after all though not ideal but what is ideal the IF amplifier is here it's made with a TBA 120 and two classical coil IF filters they are here one at the input and that first IF filter is connected to the mixer of course when you know something about radio theory a mixer does not mix radio frequencies it only uh, realizes frequency transformation that's the most important thing so for instance you have here a mixer you send in a frequency of 10 megahertz you send in a frequency of 10.5 megahertz and the difference between these two frequencies uh, gets present at the end of the mixer and in this is this mixer is by the way a mixer that I also used frequency transformator that I also use on shortwave between say 2 megahertz and 15 megahertz also in my books anyway want to show the schematic in this video so here the mixer here the IF stage the TBA 120 uh, can only discriminate frequency modulated signals so that means that we will hear and I will show that uh, some radio signals that are straight out in the Netherlands in the frequency band between say 88 megahertz and 110 megahertz and they are broadcast stations commercial broadcast stations and local stations this is the VFO by the way works between say 103 and 105 megahertz and this is the high frequency amplifier also made with a NPN high frequency transistor to that high frequency amplifier the base of that first transistor I have connected here this antenna white crocodile clip etc etc approximately 16 16 60 centimeters and here I can set the high frequency amplification here we set the level of oscillation and the oscillation by itself here we set the mixing process and here we set the IF amplification it's very very important that when you make experimental radio circuits to use such a small potentiometer on the World Wide Web you will often find fixed value resistors in a mixer circuit or whatever oscillated circuit but uh, the best way to success is to set the bias of every um, stage in your radio uh, precisely with the help of a potentiometer 
I cannot stress that enough anyway. So let's look at the properties of the circuit. This is an uh, FM radio station in the Netherlands. And it's possible to uh, tune in to that radio station. But uh, due to the limited frequency band of the VFO, I only have, say, three radio stations in this FM band, anyway. And I have to say, the high frequency amplification is very, very critical. Uh, and that's done with this potentiometer. And the level of the high frequency signal coming out of the antenna and the level of the VFO signal, both going here to the mixer are very critical. So when the high frequency level is too high, it doesn't work properly. And you can hear that surely when I lift up that high frequency amplification. We waren iets te vergaan, iets te blij gemaakt. Voor het inzicht. Zo is het. Want inderdaad, de Italiaanse overheid. You can hear the the noise that's lifted up to a far too high level, etc., etc. So let's go to the schematics. I did a few adaptations to schematics that I published earlier. This is a schematic that I published earlier about the VFO. I made two adaptations. At first I wanted to get the VFO much more in the frequency band where it had to be used. So say between 103 and 105 megahertz. And that's the reason why I mounted here this small capacitor of 22 picofarad. An extra capacitor to bring this tank circuit in that specific frequency band. And also to uh, say tune it somewhat better I used an extra diode here. By the way I did not use real very cap diodes varactors. I used these simple silicon power diodes with the type number of 1N5408. They um, have, they generate enough um, capacitance on their barrier layer when they are used in such a circuit. Pin connections so here the VFO completely. The circuit cannot be made on standard breadboards. Shielding is necessary. You can see that here. Tin plate shielding everywhere. So that signals from one stage of the radio cannot travel uncontrolled uh, to another uh, part of the radio. Shielding is necessary. High frequency is shielded. High frequency amplifier is shielded. The VFO is shielded. The IF uh, mixer is shielded. And the 
IF amplifier is shielded. So, pen over somewhat. I have 14 minutes on my camera, so I think that will be enough to tell everything about this circuit. The VF VHF oscillator. Here say the overview consisting of the high frequency stage, the mixer and the TBA120 uh, IF amplifier. The mixer is a so-called a periodic circuit that means that it doesn't have a certain bandwidth at its input. Of course, this part of the circuit has a certain bandwidth. 60 centimeter wire here, that wire combined with this uh, series capacitor means that not all frequencies are um, received here at the base of the first amplifier. Anyway, set the high frequency amplification. I've demonstrated that. Very, very simple. Um, here we take out uh, the antenna signal, sending it via this tiny capacitor directly to the base of the mixer transistor. That's here. Mixer transistor. Here it enters, the antenna signal enters the base of the mixer transistor and we send in the VFO signal at the emitter. And due to the non-linear way that this transistor amplifies, we have, uh, we realize frequency transformation. And that means that we have here the difference between the signal on the base and the signal that is sent into the emitter and that is 455 kilohertz that's the difference and that's connected to pin 13 and 14 here of the TBA chip that amplifies it very very properly and I've mounted here an extra capacitor of 18 picofarad parallel to the tank circuit here and also here to give it a somewhat better frequency band. That was the aim anyway. Inside such an IF filter we always find a capacitor here. The capacitor with the blue star built-in capacitor and I've say given that capacitor more value with that 18 picofarad capacitor here we have the same etc. So in fact the most basic circuit that you can uh, meet find in my opinion And finally, the TBA, all the connections here, they refer and are in fact quite the same compared to the schematic that I've shows, showed earlier. Very simple, everything is very simple. The TBA is a very good chip to detect frequency modulated radio signals and here I've also drawn the mixer high frequency antenna signal in VFO signal in. Here we set the amplification of the TBA. That's this potentiometer here. So, I hope uh, this was a little bit clear. 
When you have questions, ask me, no problem. And let's listen again to this very basic radio. Bijna weer paniek als er met moeizaam uh, Edson Alvarez zijn keeper bereikt. Uh, Odana aan de bal geeft zo aan met zijn hand van jongens rustig aan. So when I lift up the high high F amplification, you will hear this. You hear when you lift up the high frequency amplification, you also hear shortwave radio stations breaking through into the high frequency amplifier that was in fact uh, aperiodic but meant for this FM frequency band anyway. They break through. My friends in the I don't think you can yeah. So not too much high frequency amplification is necessary to make this circuit work properly. <laughs> 